<laughs> wow, they did this thing again. So, okay, I'm coming back with another house girl story time. I never thought this was going to happen so soon. Eh? And I had these very good people in my in my life. Ilikuwa ni mesema sasa ni mesettle story na house girl. Unfortunately, mwenye nilikuwa nae, akaniambia meenda home mazishi and uh, haku manage kurudi. I don't know what happened. She did not call me. When you call her, she doesn't pick. So, I decided to get another one. Nika mpigia simu and uh, nika mwelezea everything. I have this number of kids and uh, this is the size of the house. Okay, of course, nili mwambia tu the basics. So, na shinega wa mauliza. So ni kamwambia ni kamuliza uko tayari kufanya kazi and she was like yeah but sina a fair utanitumia fair eh hey, why not because i want someone to help me around so mimi nani it's on a friday and i decided na mtumia fair because alikuwa ameniambia anataka kuja by the by on saturday so saturday kwanza akanipigia like 14 times i was so busy nilikuwa kazi and i wasn't hiyo siku siku wa free like there was a lot of traffic so nilikuwa na lenga siku na lenga calls as such nilikuwa sishiki simu kwa sasa singeacha client angoje niongee na simu so venye nilimpigia baadaye jioni akaniambia nimtumie fair cuz amepanga kupanda the following day that saturday i was like okay mimi nikatoa chukua pesa yangu vizuri nikamtumia fair <coughs> and you know it's not just pesa kidogo 1800 is not just small money wizi nama uokote 1800 so yeah mimi nikamtumia So nangoja mtu kesho yake akuje I call her and she's like no nimeshikika nyumbani ni muona nikuje on Monday and I'm like that's fine go kuja tu on Monday if that's what you've decided So on of course Saturday Sunday I don't have sina haraka cuz I know alikuwa ameniambia atakuja on Sunday so yeah tunasonga tukisonga tukingoja Monday ifike so on Monday ikafika usiku ndio kwanza nikampigia nikamzaulia za safari and she was like yeah nilishapanda gari i'm on my way na nitafika mapema nikifika tu nitakwambia he mimi naona imefika saa moja usiku and i'm like eh she told me she'd arrive early so saa hii saa moja i mean i keep waiting by the way because i was so nilikuwa stay kwenda kazi nilikuwa nataka ni receive kwanza hmm? my friend nilingoja ikafika saa mbili na nusu na nikampigia so nikifunga kazi around hiyo saa mbili na nusu saa tatu ndo akashika simu but is coming so here comes part two saa hii ndio anashika simu saa tatu let's see and i'm like eh let me just tell her what what's supposed to be to told to her nilikuwa nimejump kidogo by the way nilikuwa zile za aki nimekungoja saa hii saa tatu and you're still not here and i'm supposed to be waiting for you so she tells me uh uh kesho ndio nitakuja cuz right now ni mwana ni late and i'm sleeping here and i'm like wow why have i wasted a whole day waiting for you anyways that's still fine Namwambia ni sawa wewe utakuja tu kesho cuz aliniambia nilala kwa the brother yake the so called brother yake <coughs> I don't know why brother yake hakumtumia fair akuja amuone kwanza that's anyway acha nitoke na machungu so yeah so in the morning I tell her in the morning akikuja akuje very early before 7:30 cuz I have to leave for work and I have to brief her of what's supposed to be done before ni toke at least nipatie aka small brief naenda na lala vizuri kesho yake anampikia asubuhi okay i call her because it's past 7:30 and she has not called me and she has not yet arrived so i'm like now what next on calling her after three times of calling the fourth time somebody else picks the phone who is a male so i assume it's the brother and asema Ebushika simu kwanza and I'm like eh hey, okay bona ameshika hiyo simu in the first place he's not the one who's supposed to shika hiyo simu so anashika simu alafu namuliza ujafika ananiambia ndio natoka na kunywa chai natoka saa hii 
trust me you nilingoja watu wafike hadi saa 5 tell me what i was doing in town at the stage from 8 around 8:39 there hadi 11:30 and it's a distance of 30 minutes tell me what i was doing there I felt so bad actually. Nika decide kuingia soko ni buy vitu kidogo kidogo to keep myself busy. Niendelee ku reduce ni sikwe na hasira, you get. Ni sikwe na hasira. But vile nilikuwa nimemuona huyo niliona tu ataanza kunisumbua. So yeah, at around 11:30 she calls me and I tell her niko soko na nunua vitu watu nikuje. He, yeah wezi ni ngoja. Mimi nimemngoja kwanza hiyo masaa yote karibu 3 hours. Ye yeah, anashinda amenipigia simu every 10 minutes. Haujamaliza. Nikamwambia ngojea nitakupigia nikimaliza. So nika finish ku buy mboga, groceries. Nikamwita. Nikuwa refu tena. I will do a So here comes part three. Tafadhali msini nyonge. Yesterday I became busy and uh, night came and you know video is okay uh, vizuri. <coughs> Ukiwa hakuna lighting poor. So Yeah. Uh where was I? Okay. Nilikuwa nimewafikisha pale nimeenda nikamchukua sasa stage we are on our way home. And uh of course nikam tukaingia kwa nikamlipia actually boda ndio nisitembee na hizo mizigo nilikuwa nimebuy. Ndio aweze apelekwe maligari ilikuwa imesimama. It was just like a small distance like a five minutes walk. But then si yeah alikuwa ambeba mzigo mpya so I was like eh ni amechoka kidogo safari tuseme na i cannot give her mziko mara mbili ya bebe so nikamlipia kaboda akakamfikisha mali nilikuwa nimepack gari mimi nika akanigojea hapo mimi nikaenda ku nikaenda mguu kufika imagine nimemwacha ndio alinde vitu kwa gari vitu ziko kando ya gari ya yuko i waited there for almost 20 minutes and then she comes back and tells me amekuwa akiangalia angalia ajue area nikajua huyu ni kama hii place aje ikuja for the first time anyway Haina maneno I think she thought ninaenda kukawia so we cannot blame her there. So tukabebana vizuri kwa gari na jaribu tu kumhoji na mzo ushawaifanya kazi pale pengine and she's like yeah how long did you stay there and she's like I stayed there for six months. Uh nikamuza na hapa kwangu napanga kukaa mda gani akaniambia napanga kukaa six months na nipanga kukaa hadi December uh, and then nirudi shule nikamwambia oh wow okay so like unataka tu kushikilia shikilia so tuseme hii ni kahaso after school and she's like yeah but niko na mtoto mmoja so ndio na hasolia and hata kama ni mkubwa so anahitaji ka school fees that's why i'm trying to work ni ni nini and i was like wow interesting so nilikuwa nimemjudge so we go to the house and we are good nikasikia ni kama Ro yangu imetugia kidogo. Eh tukafika home. She can say dia vizuri kuanta eh hizo groceries from the car. But akaacha suitcase ni mbebe. Okay. Nika mbebe hiyo suitcase usina ubaya na watu. Kidogo nakuja. So yeah, tumgia kwa nyumba and I don't have time this time. Remember it's so late. They have to go fun, fungua job. Other is what talala njaa kwa hiyo nyumba. So yeah. I leave her. Okay, I told her the basics. Kwanza nikamuonesha nyumba, tukapanda upstairs, tukashuka. Nikamwambia this is the house. Kazi tu ni za kawaida. Kuosha nyumba, kuosha vyombo. And yeah. We were good mean kana nimeacha. Mpaka nikamwachia mtoto peke yake. Wait until tomorrow. Okay. But for is here. So it's the next day. And I have all the time in the world. Sasa leo nataka kupeana proper orientation. So I call them. If you are new here, I think you should know. Na, na, na nilikulikuwa na mwingine that is. So niko na wawili at this point. Cuz one has to help me with some biashara nini nini and the other one now has to stay in the house during the day. But of course in the morning they will help each other. So CG Anyway, I don't know why she was complaining. And who's here comes the complex. So mean my wife wako wanasikiliza and I'm giving instructions and I tell them this is what's supposed to be done here. This was supposed to be done here. And uh yeah. And I expect this and this and then after finishing now Lisa kuna swali. Of course the new girl 
Kaniambia mimi sina swali. The new girl ni mwenye visanga. Eh. Yeah, hana swali. Tena mimi na misha kichwa. Most humble of the people in town. Pretender. And then mwenzake akaamua kona complain and she raised her complaint and uh, yeah. We are good. Atuna maneno. After she's done talking, now this girl gets the courage because he says, "Oh, kumbe uko watu huongea. Hata mimi niko na niko na nini? Niko na shida." Mhm. Mm but uko umesema una shida. Anyway, go ahead. I'm here to listen to you now. Do you know what she says? Mimi naona sitawezana na hii kazi. And I'm like, "Wow." Okay? Everyone is shocked at this point by the way. Cuz uh, where has this come from? It's just day 2. And jana hakuna kitu alifanya juu alifika ronza saba. Kitu alifanya ni kumwachia mtoto. So like where is this coming from? Anyway, and she was like, "Nikamza kwa nini?" And she was like, "Unajua hii nyumba ni kubwa, mimi siko najua mali na kuja na kuja nipate gorofa." So eh, Mr. Wezana, hii nyumba ni kubwa sana. And I'm like, what do you mean? Hii nyumba ni kubwa sana? But mko watu wawili. Watu wawili kwa nyumba, na nyumba ni iko na a house a household of four or five people ni nyumba kubwa. And she was like, eh, mimi naona sitawezana. But I uh, nikajaribu kufikiria what where has this come from? Kumbe as we were giving instructions alisikia atapatiwa kama mtu awezani na kazi atapatiwa fair na mshahara i know that's what gave her confidence now so atanzipofanya kazi so here comes part 5 and i hope this is the last one ikikataa kusha kwa hii part itabidi tufungue ka youtube kitu pia i know nilikemea but yeah ndio mkwe mnasikiza story in full so yeah and just in case ku interested ku watch some uh, videos of mine i have a youtube channel it goes by the name rasta babe yeah the rasta babe safadali so simwende tu subscribe and follow and i'll be giving you udaku imeweza kwa your channel na na hizo ndo vitu mnapenda anyways so here we go so kiburi imeingia msichana wenyewe and uh, me realize that meambiwa atapua fair bila kufanya kazi na ku na ku na fair na mshara and i was like wow i think it was a slip of the tongue no unalipua after umefanya kazi so i tell her oh kama utaki kazi ni sawa kidogo ni mbembeleze ya baki but i remembered eh ah, ah. kama utaki kazi ni sawa itabidi ufanya kazi one week ujitengeneze yu mshara ya ya fair uende so yeah and she's like ni sawa and then i leave the house very angry actually i didn't even release like siku funga hiyo mkutano i was i was just like watch and the kazi things are getting hot and then after two nimetoka nje ya gate kitu kaniambia mtu amekataa kazi na nimemwacha na watoto he watu wangu watakorogewa sumu so i quickly rush and call my ah, my other person and I'm like tafadhali kuwa macho because osongo anaweza pikiwa sumu tafadhali huyo msichana asipike asipike akae tu afanye vitu vingine kuosha ni nini ni asipike tafadhali asibebe mtoto wangu eh cuz i don't know what she had planned this is so weird you just don't want to work after the first day missy get you just are not somebody who has good motives Siju nani amekutuma and maybe you're in my house for distraction. So I'm like, no. Niko kazi sasa, niko restless. I'm like, John, itafika sangapia. Just don't to go back to the house and monitor everything. Eh, ikafika masa saba hivi. I kept on calling home. I was not comfortable. So ikafika masa saba hivi and I called my mom. Hello, mama. Tafadhali. I'm very lucky today you're not going to work. Because ni holiday. Tafadhali, can you just go? And be with my people there. I don't trust that girl. I don't trust that girl. He, akafika, akaenda kampata. Ndi, ameketi kwa kiti kazi yake. Niku mata mata tu. Na ku change stations za TV, my friend. Watuto wajipange. They're not gonna watch today. Because. 
Yes, I think we part six, but ni kama ni part six anyways. So, what to watch? Because watch. Kusababu kuna kabos. Kwenye nyumba kame arrive. Eh? Yeah? <laughs> so, anyway, wakashinda na mamangu. Walikuwa na hepatu presence ya watu the whole time. And yeah, evening came and I came back home. At this point, I had made another, another, another. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just say another Shauria no anyway? So at this point I had made a decision that I'm going to let her go tomorrow. Fifteen hundred will not make me keep someone in my house when you are fire to nikwena wasiwasi. So keshake nika usiku to ka discuss na mamangu vile how we are going to do it. We are going to now execute our exit project. <laughs> so yeah, Kesha in the morning. Nikamuamka and then alikuwa nendelea kufanya kufua and uh, I called her nikamwambia, "Hey, karibu ni mtaje jina we." Karibu. Nikamwambia, "Unajua nini? Itabidi tu uende leo. Nimeona uende leo." Yeah. Uh, it's a bit uh, letter bag zako ni 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 weka pa to check vile tu tuna checking give it to normally the normal procedure so yeah I checked what she had carried and then yeah when I'm done nikaona nikama and I walk towards the door and I was like wow it's like she got fair so si go si ndi ku spend ah but I thought to myself na jo kwetu ni aka distance ndani ya barabara so i told her ngoja juu natoka let me sindikisha you to the barabara i know mtanilemea ti mbona nilimwambia tu asubuhi ataenda na nikamwambia aende hiyo masaa it's because i didn't want her to plan anything during the night he i didn't want anything prepared na siko ready ku attack my friend so yeah in the morning so nikamfikisha kwa barabara and kumfikisha kwa stage she told me me naenda gm wow oh it's all right you cannot know i will not just mention the name so me naenda gm uh narudi kwa bradangu i was like it's okay where and and she was like but sina fair i was like ah uh, okay so sikwenda gm kutoka hapa ni 50 bob 100 bob so nikupatia 100 utafika she was like, Sasa misi jui maliko. So I had to take her to GM. <laughs> so here comes part 7. And I hope this is the final part. Um, upon reaching GM. Hey. My friends. Nime, kusindi, nime msindikisha hadi mali. Alikuwa mesema naenda. And then she's like, you know what? Sita shuka hii gari mpako nipatia 50 bobi ya kuena mali naenda. And I was like, wow. Why you become. Uh, all of a sudden, nukona kakiburi. I have helped you till this far unafaa kuwa humble there's a way of asking me for money ungeniambia tafadhali alikuwa zile za ah haki siwezi shuka ah kusema haki eh hey, that's so polite alisema sishuki gari mpaka unipatie 50 bob ya kuenda mali naenda and i'm like wow how shuki gari yeah, and i was like eh and, and uh, before before i thought otherwise nilingisha mkono kwa kibeti i almost gave her the 50 bob and then i realized no Kwani mali anaenda yeye anahostiwa na huyo boyfriend ama brother mwenye hana hata ka 50 bob ya kumpatia apande kwenda huko ama mkujie eh mimi nimekuwa na roho for so long nimekuvumilia enough so just because i did not know what to do niko kwa stage and uh, akikatalia kwa gari yangu i don't know where to take her nikamwambia shuka na kuwekea kwa mpesa the moment she stepped out of the car and I saw I had locked my doors. Nikafunga kale kanopka kufunga gari. Ta! Na nikaenda. Siku akinipigia sishiki. Kwa sababu I cannot be the one who's finance. Na kupeleka adi mali. Unaenda lafu 50 bobi. Ya kuenda pia mindo ni kupatie. Hey miss. Ni, it's like. Nililetea. Um, mtu bibi. Alafu ni mdelewa. Ni mdelivari ya free. Ni, ni mfanya. Yani ni mfanya full packaging. Ni mtolea. They make you shago, ni kamlete ya Nairobi ya kuje kumua. Tafazali. Ni mejichuna masikio. I don't know. If, siku ingine ni kitumiwa mtu. 
sita kuwa hivi desperate i'm not desperate actually ni vile tu nasikianga oh ni watumie fair so that wasiteseke kukuja lakini siku nyingine ni mtu mwenye amejitafutia fair mtu mwenye anajua anaenda kufanya kazi aende outing eh siezi tu mafair siku nyingine nimejichuna maskio eh 